This is day 45, episode 24 of my modular journey. Today we're going to look at the Chaos Devices Belgrad Dual Peak Multimode State Variable Filter. That's quite a name. So to break that down a little bit, the Belgrad has dual resonant peaks, hence the name Dual Peak, which can be spanned across using this knob or balanced between using this knob or modulated using balance or span and then attenuated here. The center here is the frequency knob, so like the cutoff frequency. And then this uh, switch down here is uh, selectable modes that the filter can be in, uh, various uh, different peak configurations. Uh, check, the, check out the manual, This you know, page two, flip side of the manual, talks about these in detail. The left side has the level potentiometer, which controls the amplitude of the signal coming in to the input jack. It has a resonance knob, which can be modulated through the Rezo CV input here. Uh, and then frequency can be modulated through this volt per octave here. And then of course, um, the last one is the FM, you know, frequency modulation, which can be attenuated here. As to why I chose the Chaos Devices Belgrad over other filters, simply put, it was my Goldilocks filter. Some filters were really simple, real basic, uh, and others were so complex uh, that I couldn't imagine using all the features that they have in them. Seeing it in other racks and seeing how other people use it and the sounds that were coming out of it were really impressive. It was an early addition to my wish list. Uh, and it was unavailable for a long time and then it finally became available, so I purchased it. So I'm very happy with, uh, with the decision. For how I plan to use it, the future is pretty unknown. Originally when I went shopping for a, another filter, the idea was to use it for low basses, and uh, and not just clean, clear basses, but some growly, distorted, low-end basses. And and that's a lot of the demos that I saw on Belgrad was it was used in that capacity. My original applications are going to be basses, so that's what this episode is going to demonstrate. For an idea of how I plan to use it, um, uh, I have data hooked up here, which shows uh, the green trace is, is chainsaw's raw sound coming out of chainsaw. Uh, the blue trace is coming out of the filter. So you can see what the filter is going to do to the sound. And right now you can see resonance is down, cutoff is up, so basically it's the filter is wide open. Uh, and it's in neutral mode here. Did I talk about what this does? Neutral mode, self-modulation or cross-modulation. So in, in uh, neutral mode here, you can see the uh, chainsaw's shape coming out of the chainsaw. And you can see the shape of the signal passing through the filter is pretty much the same. Switching to self-modulation, because in neutral mode, it's just I think it just acts like a normal filter. The real fun begins into self-modulation. So now you can hear some of that growl I was talking about. Let me go through all the modes one at a time using this exact setup. Let me hit that C2. Watch the blue trace. Uh, clearly a high pass. So now, uh, with the uh, with the balance and the and the span, you can see some uh, some interesting interesting sounds coming out of this filter. But that's what I'm talking about. Some of the sounds that come out of this are pretty amazing. So, so when you take the frequency way down,
So this is what I mean by I can just sit here and go way off in the weeds, almost like in a trance. Because this is so amazing to me. Well, without taking any more time on that, let me uh, let me modulate some stuff. I'm going to use Batumi uh, in quad mode, so I can control the speed here, and then the different uh, I can attenuate the levels here. I'm going to just start with a bunch of signs. So a couple of sine waves here. I want to try to do uh, span because span does a lot of interesting things to the to the sound. So now you can see the rate of Batumi, and you can hear this, the uh, slow oscillation of the, uh, of the span here. And I have it set, uh, like attenuated up pretty high, because I can also attenuate it here. I do have a bit of reverb on this, but keep an eye on data again. Actually, let me uh, let me turn off chainsaw. So you're only looking at Belgrad. So now, if I take a second one and put it into balance, for instance. Rezo. So if I wanted to do more Rezo, I can raise the Batumi's quad channel. I'll take the fourth one now and I'll just put it into FM. So basically, you know, once you start modulating Belgrade, that's when a lot of the magic comes and that's where, I, again, I get lost in the weeds. So I do have a demo song that I'll, I'll just add to the end of this video that'll better show how I plan to use Belgrad. So that's it for episode 24 and, and the Chaos Devices Belgrad Dual Peak Multimode State Variable Filter. Coming up next, the Expert Sleepers Disting Mark IV. Stay tuned for that.